Moments ago, President Biden delivered an important address from the Oval Office. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand joins us in studio right now with the takeaways. And Jory, this is the first of his speech and since dropping out of the race. Yeah, well, remember, he dropped out of the race while mm -hmm. isolating in Delaware while he had COVID. Yesterday, he returned to the White House and was able to make this speech tonight. And it was a very important speech as he is now a official lame duck president. And while he did mention tonight that he thinks his work over the last three and a half years merits a second term, he said rather than holding the torch, he is passing it to a younger generation. My fellow Americans, I'm speaking tonight from behind the Resolute desk in the Oval Office. It wasn't a farewell, but it was an attempt for President Joe Biden to try and cement his legacy, addressing the nation for the first time since announcing he would not seek re-election. I promise to always level with you, to tell you the truth. You know, in recent weeks, it's become clear to me that I need to unite my party in this critical endeavor. I believe my record as president, my leadership in the world, my vision for America's future, all merited a second term, but nothing, nothing can come in the way of saving our democracy. That includes personal ambition. So I've decided the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. The president now has less than six months left in office, set to either turn things over to his vice president, Kamala Harris, whom he endorsed on Sunday, or turn things back over to his predecessor, Donald Trump. America's gonna have to choose between moving forward or backward, between hope and hate, between unity and division. We have to decide, do we still believe in honesty, decency, respect? The president promised to continue working for the rest of his term while highlighting the accomplishments of the last three and a half years. My fellow Americans, it's been the privilege of my life to serve this nation for over 50 years. Nowhere else on earth could a kid with a stutter from modest beginnings in Scranton, Pennsylvania, Claymont, Delaware, one day sit behind the Resolute desk in the Oval Office as President of the United States. But here I am. That's what's so special about America. A tinge of finality in that last line there. I think we'll hear a version of that again at the Democratic National Convention. This was not the speech that Joe Biden wanted to give on July 24th. He wanted and had planned to be out campaigning for re-election right now. That, of course, won't happen. Apparently, Donald Trump was watching the speech. He posted to social media, quote, Crooked Joe Biden's Oval Office speech was barely understandable and so, that's three O's, and so bad. Jory Rand, ABC7 Eyewitness News.